everyone. Today I'm cooking with Linnell. I'm going to walk you through the steps that I take to meal plan and make a grocery list and try to save some money. So stay tuned. enjoy meal planning and making my grocery list. I know that sounds odd, but hopefully you will learn some tips that will help you too. So the first thing I do when I'm going to make the list for the week is I look at the grocery store sale ad and usually on the front and the back sides of the ad, they have some of the loss leaders for the store that they're really trying to push out or get you into the store with and seasonal things are usually on sale on these sides. So I look through this and if something strikes me like, I might want to use that for a recipe this week. I write it down on the shopping list before I even decide on what recipes I'm going to make. And then I start to look through my numerous cookbooks and I try to decide, do I want to do something that's lighter? Do I want to do something that's more clean eating, paleo, blood type related, um, vegetarian, vegan, gluten free? Um, do I want to do something that's quick because I have a busy week or stay with seasonal things? So many things to consider before choosing the meals for the week. Um, and so this week I've chosen several meals. One of them comes from Clean Eating Magazine and it's a ginger chicken stir fry with spaghetti squash. Sounds delicious. And then I've actually pulled out um, an older Cooking Light cookbook from 1998 and I've picked three recipes from this book. It is a fajita salad with creamy cilantro lime sauce, a chili cheese casserole for a crowd, and a beef, pepper, and shiitake mushroom stir fry. And the reason I've chosen some of these is because I'm going to be sharing these with some people, dropping off some meals for some people I wanna say thank you to, and also um, bringing over some food to a friend of mine who doesn't have time to cook this week. So those are some of the staples that I'm gonna have for the, um, the week's meals. I also have a special occasion coming up. It's my niece's birthday this week, and so I'm going to be making two different kinds of cupcakes for her, and hopefully she'll be really surprised with that treat. And then I like to always keep some sort of sweets around the house for myself or to offer to guests if they come over. And so this week I'm making something called Real Deal Chocolate Chip Cookies out of a gluten-free cookbook. And I have made this one before and I really like it. So those are some of the recipes for this week. And what I'd like to also remind you is that I make my grocery list, I put the item down, and my system is if I'm gonna need more than one, I just check it off so that if I need more and more from different recipes, I can just check, 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 and so it kind of looks like this. And the other thing is when I was referring to the grocery ad, sometimes I'll see items on there that maybe I'm not gonna use this particular week, but there's something that I know I use regularly and I'll stock up on those while they're on sale. And I also forgot to mention that I don't really have the luxury of running to the grocery store when I run out of something. And so I try to always keep my pantry stocked with things just in case I run out. And I also keep this reusable grocery list on the side of my refrigerator. So as I think I'm running low on something, I'll write that item on the reusable shopping list so that when I make my grocery list for the week, I'll be sure to add it on. And usually I don't go to the grocery store more than once a week. Sometimes I make it two weeks without going. So it's all about planning. It does save time in the end. And one more tip for saving money, I do get grocery store coupons. And usually there's coupons in my stack that relate to something that I'm making and I make sure I use those as well as the stores usually have an app. You can go on that app and click on the coupons that relate to the things you're buying. You put it all together, you have great meals planned, you'll have all the ingredients and you'll save some money. Hope that helps. Thanks for joining me. See you next time on Cooking. <laughs>